It is 639 and if you're just waking up and just tuning in this morning, well, you're just in time because it is time for the Friday feed with Mr. Al Abair. He is live in studio with our friends from Second Harvest. We're going to send it to him. Hey, I tell you what, Amy did a really good job on those onions. So Amy, Savion, what's our next step? So Savion is going to go ahead and brown the meat. Okay. Now let me ask you about your pot here. Tyler, you get a quick shot on that. Which the, which one? Yeah, and it's hot. I just felt that. Thank you. <laughs> I just didn't want to say ouch. Um, so tell me, Amy, this is this is a no stick pot. Mm -hmm, non stick. Non stick. And and so is this one of those granite pots? Because I've seen these things on TV or what is? Because I use like Teflon and the most dangerous materials possible to keep things from sticking. Tell me a, a little bit about the pot. It is, you know, or do you, it, it might be somewhat ambiguous. I, I was it's, gonna, a, it's a nonstick. It's from Amazon. Um, I can't remember quite sure mm -hmm. what it is completely. It looks like it's in great shape, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, so I guess you guys cook. Uh, now, when you're using a nonstick pot like this, do you keep your fire at medium? Or wh wh where, how much heat do you want? Well, I think it's okay to use whatever heat you want. Mm -hmm. um, right now, it's on high, but it's a it's a hot plate, so it's not as hot as the stove yeah, would. Yeah, gotcha. But um, yeah, but other than that, we're gonna brown the meat, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna add the onions. But while we're browning the meat, the fat is going to come out from it, and it's gonna get very liquidy. And once that happens, we're going to put the fat into this bowl, and we're gonna discard it. And by discarding this fat, it makes it leaner and healthier. And we want to try to, you know, kind of stay away from the saturated fats yeah. a little, um, but also making it lean for us. Go, go ahead, please. Uh, but uh, to, to remind you guys, we also have the mobile market. Oh, wow. And so you can go to no-hunger.org slash mobile market and press on the Southwest and Acadiana, and that will give you the monthly calendar on where we're at because we've got some good prices. So, for instance, onions, it's about 50 cents for an onion, right? And that's that is, a good deal. That's a good deal, right? Because if you buy them separately in stores, it's like a more than a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty-five yeah, a pound. Yeah, and it's going to buy a pound, right? Yeah. And so then we also have cans of tomato sauce for fifty cents. We have pasta for a dollar. That's a good deal. We have cheese, sixteen ounce big blocks for three dollars, and you just grate it. And then we have ground beef. Get this. One pound for three dollars. Okay, that's a good deal. So if you think about it, this is about two pounds. So you can get two pounds of ground beef for six dollars. Mind you, I get my ground beef and it's like what eight thirty nine a pound or something like that. Man, it's so expensive. And mm -hmm. um, so like you can find it on sale sometimes, but I got to tell you, ground beef is close to four bucks a pound in some stores. You mm -hmm. know, and so that's a really good deal. And so. So how does this work with the mobile truck? You just walk up and buy the food or you yes. shop or how does it work? Anyone can buy food at the mobile market. Mm -hmm. You just go to one of our locations and you just buy food. You wait in line, you get a little basket and you go through the line and get some. Okay. And sometimes Savion and I are out there and we give out free samples. And so if you guys want to check that out, we also do bundles. So for instance, last week we did a fruit, uh, fruit salad bundle and it was Five dollars for everything. Okay, I love that, Amy. Five bucks for a fruit salad. Hey, you know what? We're gonna go to Alex over at the desk. Alex, what's happening? 